Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of iTalk Tech. My name is Tamer, and today I'll be giving you guys my 100% honest review of the newly released Amazon Fire Phone. Please hit that like button down below, as it took quite a while to gather all my thoughts about this phone. So, here we go. Amazon put four years of development into this Fire Phone, and after using this phone for about two weeks, I wish they put those four years into something else. They have literally seven cameras on the thing, and couldn't get one right. There's definitely things that I like about this phone, but there's a lot more that pisses me off about this phone. I will try not to make this video a rant, but I apologize if that's how it turns out, but I guarantee that this is how I personally feel about the Amazon Fire Phone. So let's begin with the good things Amazon has done with this phone. To me there are pretty much only four things that Amazon has done good with this phone. First is Firefly. I felt this was probably the coolest and most useful feature of this phone. It's easy to use, effective, and efficient. It can easily detect different products as well as barcodes and phone numbers as well. It became a very useful feature as all I had to do was point the camera to a movie or song or email and it would immediately take me to the appropriate menu, whether it be showing me the product on Amazon or explaining what song or movie I was watching. The second thing that I loved about this phone is the gaming with dynamic perspective. I felt that it added a layer of fun to the games. You didn't have just touch controls, but your head basically became another aspect of the controller, or in some games the controller itself. Turning your head allowed you to see different point of views in the game, making the entire gaming experience immersive. Amazon also gives you a thousand coins for their app store when you buy the Fire Phone so you can purchase some great apps and games for free. The third thing is the free year of Amazon Prime. That comes in handy when getting free 2 day shipping when purchasing things on Amazon and using the other services such as movies and music streaming. The last thing that I liked is the screen. While the screen is only a 720p display, it still looks beautiful and you can't really go wrong with display. These were probably the only good things I could say about the Fire Phone. Now for the bad things. Amazon's new Fire Phone runs on a custom version of Android. While it runs on a version of Android, everything that you love about Android, the customization, the great apps, the ease of use, that's all not there. This should be illegal in the Android community. The Fire Phone is probably more locked down than iOS, and that's saying a lot. The whole phone is confusing to use and irritating to use in some aspects, and I'm a guy that has used all types of smartphones with ease. One of the many things that just irritates me is the way gestures are implemented on this phone. It feels awkward flicking your hand left and right just to open up the settings menu or some type of menu. You never really know what flicking to the right will give you, and the same thing goes for the left. You're basically taking guesses. This was supposed to substitute for a menu button, but it just plain old sucks. I would have preferred an on-screen menu button or some type of button. It requires actual force, like a shake rather than moving your hand. That I find irritating. The funny thing is, the menus are on both sides which are even more irritating. You could just be sliding through their apps or through some type of web page and touch the sides of the screen. Guess what? That immediately pulls up a menu and it was happening to me on a constant basis. This is probably the most irritating for me. Then the rest of the phone was just plain old useless. I found myself not knowing how to go back in an app or in a web page as it requires a swipe gesture which was just too much to handle with the other 50 different gestures. When using this phone, I just didn't know where I was going, I was basically pressing everywhere just to see if I can get out of somewhere. The tilt to scroll was pretty much ineffective as when I try to scroll down slightly, it moves down the page at the speed of lightning. Everything that was advertised to be impressive about this phone and what made this fire phone special to me was pretty much useless. This phone has no customization at all. The only thing you can really customize is the lock screen theme, but that's it. You can't even set up a home screen wallpaper. Really, we're in 2014 and we can't even change the background. You can't add widgets and there isn't much app support. Amazon must have went bonkers with this phone because it's the pure opposite of what people want. Alright, now I'll just talk a little bit about this dynamic perspective that they devoted 4 years into. To me, it's just a gimmick. I found it only useful during gaming. It doesn't really look 3D, and it certainly isn't 3D. It just moves the application icon or the screen around based the way you look at it. I will only look at an icon for a few seconds before I then tap on it, which makes it pretty useless. I would give it a chance, but since the Amazon App Store doesn't have a lot of games and not too much developer support, I won't be giving it a chance. It's like buying a Windows phone, except the Windows phone can probably do more and have better specs. I mean, the thing has 7 cameras, but they couldn't even get one right. Not even the selfie camera. Not even the back camera, which is 13 megapixels. It couldn't compare with the Galaxy S5, as you guys could have seen in my previous video. This phone restricts the user so much that the settings menu is even pretty small. The reason why is because there isn't much you can change about this phone. Alright, after all this, you may be thinking that I hate this phone and probably wish to burn it in a flaming fire. No, it's not a bad phone, it's just a new type of phone that doesn't belong in the iPhone or Galaxy market. If it was like a $300 unlocked phone or a free 2 year contract phone, 
then maybe my review would be a little different. But there's just so many reasons why the Galaxy S5 or HTC One MA or even the iPhone 5S are a better choice for people. Now I know that this phone was designed for people who are really into the Amazon ecosystem. But if you look at it, most likely you aren't into it as well. If you paid for Amazon Prime, you most probably only did it for the free shipping. I mean, I use Netflix or Hulu Plus for streaming movies, and I use Pandora or Spotify for listening to music. I don't know how you guys interact with the Amazon ecosystem, but for me, it just doesn't fit the bill for 649 bucks. I don't even want to go into specs for this review, because if you watch my Amazon Fire Phone first look video, you know how the specs are subpar to the $649 smartphone ma market. Overall, I don't think this is a bad phone, I just think that it's for a specific type of people, which doesn't happen to be me. You guys tell me down in the comments below whether you think this is the phone for you or not. Thank you guys so much, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please subscribe, like, share, and comment, and all that good stuff. Peace!